In this video, we solve some trig ratio problems that are a little more involved. Like this problem involving a cell tower located at point A in a city block. The tower communicates with other nearby towers. Cell tower B is due south and 2.4 kilometers away from tower A. Tower C is at a bearing of 0.75 degrees and 3.5 kilometers away from tower A. How can we use this information to calculate the bearing of tower C from tower B? In problems like this, it's useful to draw lines to form right angle triangles. By drawing these lines with a right angle at D, we form triangles ADC and BDC. Using triangle ADC, we write the sine ratio for 75 degrees, which equals the opposite, x, over the hypotenuse, 3.5. Rearranging for x, and using a calculator, gives us x equals 3.38 kilometers. Using this same triangle, we write the cosine ratio for 75 degrees, which equals the adjacent y over the hypotenuse, 3.5. Rearranging for y, and using a calculator, gives us y equals 0.91 kilometers. We can then focus on triangle BDC. The length BD equals 2.4 plus 0.91, which equals 3.31 kilometers. We can now write the tangent ratio for angle B. The opposite, 3.38, over the adjacent, 3.31. Using the inverse trig function on a calculator gives angle B as 46 degrees. And so the bearing of tower C from tower B is 046 degrees. In this problem, we know AC is a diameter and that the radius OA is x centimeters. Angle AOB is given as alpha degrees. How can we write an expression for the length BC in terms of x and alpha? First, notice that ABC is a right angled triangle as the angle in a semicircle is always 90 degrees. If we could find an expression for one of these angles, we could use a trig ratio to give an expression for BC. Notice that we have this isosceles triangle formed by two radii of length x. So these base angles are equal. And since the angles in a triangle add to 180 degrees, we can subtract alpha from 180 degrees and divide by 2 to give this expression for angle OAB. We know the diameter AC is 2x. We can now write a trig ratio for this angle using these sides, specifically the sine ratio. The sine of the angle equals BC over 2x. Multiply both sides by 2x and we get this expression for side BC in terms of alpha and x. In this last example, two observers are looking at the apex of the Great Pyramid. One observer sees the apex at a 22.7 degree angle of elevation. The other observer, 110 meters closer to the pyramid, sees the apex at a 32 degree angle of elevation. How can we use this information to calculate the height of the pyramid? We can draw this right angle triangle, which includes the height x and the distance y to the observer at b. And we can draw this right angle triangle, which also includes the height x and the distance to the observer at a, which is 110 plus y. In each of these triangles, we can use the tangent ratio for the known angle. And by multiplying each ratio by its denominator, we get these two expressions for the height x. We can equate these two expressions for x. 
On the left side, we can multiply the brackets by tan 22.7. This results in a y term on each side of the equal sign. We can then rearrange to get the y terms on the right hand side of the equation. Factorize the right hand side by taking out y as a common factor, and then divide both sides by the brackets to give an expression for y. Entering this into a calculator, we get y equals 223 meters. Substituting this y value into our first triangle, we can now use the tangent ratio to calculate x, which gives x equal to 139 meters, and so the height of the Great Pyramid.